Hey guys, we are driving through the Pompano Beach, Florida area. I uh, just got off Highway A1A, we're now west facing. I had to inland a little bit. So it's a little bit of a cloudy day uh, here at the end of January 2021. Uh, about 65 degrees Fahrenheit, a little cold front. Uh, that's a cold front in South Florida. At the end of the week, it'll be back to the uh, 80s, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I like the, the cool weather for nighttime, but I, I like it hot and sunny during the day. I do. I like to sweat. That's how I came to Florida. So Pompano Beach, uh, uh, obviously it has something to offer with regards to close proximity to Atlantic Ocean, uh, close proximity to Miami, probably about 45 minutes or so. Uh, right next to Boca Raton, which is a great area. Uh, but some of, uh, you know, the areas of Pompano Beach are hit or miss. Uh, but you can certainly find nice areas, and there can certainly be a little areas that are not so nice. But I would say overall, it's uh, it's another great, um, you know, it's just another great town in one sense where it's something new to see in South Florida. It's uh, It's got something to... Experience a lot of apartment buildings. Uh, you're seeing some of the high rises close to the beach here. We're going to make a right here. We're going to be going on Highway uh, Route One North. So it's uh, it's congested, I would say, a little bit more in Pompano Beach. But uh, it's a Sunday. It's early in the morning. There's not too many people out. And uh, snowbird season this year, 2021, is still a little bit slower than past years due to the coronavirus. So we we really haven't uh, had like it jam-packed, like it, not that it's jam-packed, but it's a little bit more crowded during uh, the winter season, which is peak tourism season, than it is usually, the, you know, it's usually more crowded than it, than it is this year. But either way, uh, what I'm doing is I am headed to Breezy Hill RV Park which is part of the Thousand Trails Encore Parks. Uh, so for my nomads, for those who are into the RV lifestyle, there is a campground, one of the few uh, campgrounds that are part of the Thousand Trails with the Encore package, uh, about 10 minutes away from the Atlantic Ocean here in Pompano Beach, Florida. And I just wanted to do a drive-by uh, to see. This year, they actually made an exception. They allowed you to use it not just like an encore park, but like a thousand trails park, meaning that, you know, you can stay, um, you know, for up to, uh, you know, you can go, come in and out of it. You know, you, can, you know, it's a different requirement when you have a thousand trails park versus an encore park. Hard to explain unless you know the system. Make it a left here. This is just a, you know, Route 1 is a major highway where there's just a bunch of shops, restaurants, you know car dealerships, etc. Would I move to Pompano Beach? Probably not. Not because there's like a major red flag with Pompano Beach. But just for the fact that um, I think it's a little bit too congested for my personal style to want to live. And I'd rather be... There's some other towns I'd rather be in. You know, like if I was going to be... In this part of Florida, I'd rather be in Boca Raton, uh, maybe even Delray Beach, which are just north of this. Um, once you get to like uh, Delray Beach, Boca, once you go south, it's just too congested. I mean, not that this is that congested. I mean, I'm from New Jersey, New York area, so, you know, this is not that congested, but I don't know. There's just other parts of Florida that fit my personality better. But why I'm a nomad is because what I found is I like variety. I like not being committed to one area. And that's why I'm taking a look at this um, this RV park here, Breezy Hill RV Park, to see if I want to revisit maybe getting a travel trailer and just going in and out of uh, Thousand Trails Parks, which is a cheap, cost-effective way to live as a nomad if you want the amenities uh, of full hookups if you're going to get an RV. You know, in the summertime, you'd have no problem at these parks. It wouldn't be crowded. Uh, during the winter, you know, getting a reservation be a little bit more challenging because everyone wants to be in Florida in the winter. Now, this year has been an exception with the coronavirus. 
uh, that there hasn't been as many people as normally uh, down in South Florida because there's not that many Europeans, if any. There's not that many Canadians, if any. And even people from out of state. There's some people from out of state here, but not as many in years past in the winter. So, heading uh, west now. So, you still have palm trees and stuff, but, you know, this area is just not lush. Uh, it's still South Florida, but it's just not the, the premier area, at least in my opinion. Like every type of place you'd want, Lowe's Hardware, Big Lots, Raw Store, PetSmart, you know, any type of food you want. And there's some nice houses uh, in this area, no doubt about that. You know, I would say, um, you know, yeah, you find middle class, upper class, it all depends on, on the area. Of course, the further you get away from the beach, uh, the more uh, affordable the houses, but maybe the lesser they are as far as, uh, you know, they're not as nice. It's always going to be the case that, that property by the water is always going to be uh, nicer and more expensive. It's just the way life uh, folds. But you can still live a great life, guys, even without a house, even living in a cheap house. I mean, you know, when you, you got to think about a house is just somewhere you sleep or an RV park, just somewhere you sleep. Now, I know most people, they spend most of their day in their house, but to me, it's like what really matters is the surrounding area because once you leave your house, that's the environment. And Pompano Beach, I would say it still has a good surrounding area because you're by the beach. Not my favorite, uh, but not, I wouldn't say like, I dread it or, or necessarily bad, but just, uh, like I said, we're going to go to Breezy Hill Park here. So any of my nomads, again, if you have a thousand trails on core, and if you've never been to Breezy Hill, that's where we're going, Breezy Hill RV Park. It's an industrial area here, you're right by the railroad tracks. So of course you got, you know, like a lot of car repair shops. Uh, storage places because it's got like that industrial feel but uh, I don't see any you know major red flags it doesn't look like you know, any danger or anything like that it's just an, it's not it's not like a tropical oasis it's just like uh, an industrial area period so when in doubt look guys just make a video okay press play make it about 10 minutes long try to focus in on one specific thing, whether it's the area, whether it's a topic, uh, whatever. Why? Because um, the more you do, the more results you get, the more consistent you are, the more you grow, and the, the less you fear being perfect. Uh, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm trying to be consistent and make progress, whether it's with my YouTube channel or with my life and everything changes, so I don't put any unrealistic expectation that if, if this doesn't make it, that I'll Look, guys, just you do a variety of things and you stay busy with your time in your life. And you try to do what you enjoy and you do some things that push yourself. Push yourself outside your 60 mile radius. Do some, do some things that you may not want to do, but it may provide some information or help to you or others. Like, look, I, do I really want to go visit Breezy Hill Park? Well, yeah, I, I kind of wanted to see it. I had to push myself a little bit, though, to make this video. So it's part of life, right? And Pompano Beach, like I said, at least the section we're in now, I mean, it's not, again, you go by the beach, it's nice. You go inland, it's not much, in my opinion. It's amazing, you know, Florida has so many different towns, just like every other place in the country. And it all, it all it's all a matter of perspective and what you've seen and what you've experienced that determine what do you like, what do you don't like, what's your impressions of a place, you know. Once you get an impression of something, hard to change it. That's why they say like a first impressions um, are very important because once once someone has an idea of something, for them to change that idea is, is very hard mentally, psychologically, or something in the mind. So we're approaching here about a half a mile away, I believe. And again, you got an industrial area, railroad track still to the right. It's like a lot of like a commercial. Uh, auto storage to the left um, and that, that's the best way to describe this area an industrial park area pawn shop always a little bit of a red flag but not really an active pawn shop 
gonna make a left here, and we're getting very close now. Look at this guy, Florida drivers. Okay. And uh, we're making a, a left here on 48th Street. Which gas right now in Pompano Beach, $2.23 a gallon as I make this in January 2021. Could you door dash around here? Sure. Anywhere in South Florida, you could door dash. So let's say if you did it, if you hustled it, if you, you know, put in some time, you make $500 a week, $2,000 a month. No doubt. Oh, well, yeah, that's don't look too bad. You got the Highland Woods Park, uh, RV Park to your left. That don't look bad. And then this is the, oh, this doesn't look bad at all. I actually thought this was going to be worse. This actually looks pretty good. Well, the Highland Parks look good. I don't know about the Breezy Hill Parks. This is the Breezy Hill. And let me turn around because I don't have any pass. The Highland Park one looks a little bit nicer. I don't have a pass to get in. It doesn't look bad, though. I'm just looking to my left. Yeah, I would stay here. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta think about the thousand trails again. Yeah, it's a gated community. I think Highland, Highland RV Park, which is right next to it, is nice too. And then you're right next to I-95 here. Let me just see. Can I go? Oh, no. Yeah, Highland Park has gates. I can't go in there. That's nice. Highland Woods is nice. Well, you know, it's an RV park. What do you, but, uh, yeah, I would, I would stay here. Yeah, guys, so I don't know. For whatever it's worth, you know, I hope the video helped you a little bit. I'm giving you what I can and what I have availability to do. Uh, so I know it helps me, so I know it helps others. Uh, stay confident. Keep pushing forward. Keep making videos. Keep staying productive. Use your time wisely. Make the most of your life. Why? Because every second it passes you by. And uh, even though life can be miserable, we want it to end. Uh, it can also be inspirational. And the bottom line is make it as good as possible because you're here. So make the most of it. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.